This is incredible. One Piece is currently more exciting than ever. Secrets that Oda has kept hidden for decades are revealed here. It is still hard to believe what happened in the last chapters. After what feels like 20 years, Oda shows us not only the power of the Gorosei, but even Imsama's powers. However, the powers are different from the usual ones we know from One Piece, because all transform unusually creepy and mysterious in a by shadowed coward beings. The most unusual here is Imsama though, and it's a powers that we are going to talk about today. So if you like the video and want to support me, then leave a like and subscribe me. This channel is a new channel, so it would help me out a lot. Thank you very much. What can be said directly, the well-known Insama has the water fruit theory is now nearly impossible to be true. Now that we have seen that he can perform a transformation, we can assume that he has a Zoan fruit. If it were an elemental devil fruit, he would obviously attack with that element and not become a monster. Exactly the same here for Paramecia. And even if it doesn't seem like it, these are some information we can do a lot with. For this reason, 95% of the One Piece community directly assumed that Imsama has a mythical soan. But before I elaborate on this sword, I would like to mention that there is one option we must not forget. The transformation is not a devil fruit power, but its true form. Many leave this option out of sight, which I honestly cannot understand. What I mean by this is that Imsama may not be a human anyway. Even her normal form seems very unusual and only slightly human. It's similar to what happened with King back then. Everyone initially assumed that the flames and his wings definitely come from his devil fruit. Which is understandable because you can't know that such a race exists. And it could be similar here with Imsama. What if she is not from Earth at all? We know that there are several planets and sometime in the story they must play a role. When and where else if not right now? The fact that she has been living for 800 years confirms that she is not human. In this transformation Imsama is perhaps finally in his true form and is not a human but another being from another planet. This could even be expanded to say that she or he is the one who created the devil fruits. Because in the transformation she looks like the devil himself. She doesn't have a devil fruit but is the devil himself and thus an opposite of Ruffy. And with that I want to tie directly into the next theory, which deals with exactly this. And most of the community are also exactly of this opinion. In fact, that Imsama has a mythical Zoan devil fruit, human human fruit type devil. In chapter 1085, it was initially said that Imsama attacked Zabo and Cobra with a black arrow. However, after a closer look, I must say I think it looks more like a devil's tail. And if you do very complex research and search devil tail on Google, you will find the exact attack of Imsama. I think that is already clear enough that Imsama does not attack with an arrow but here with his tail. So for me it is already confirmed that Imsama has the powers and characteristics of a devil. I even had this theory in my head when I learned that Ruffy reflects the sun god. It would be only logical to have the absolute opposite side in the One Piece story next to Ruffy. 
Here you can also tie the powers of the Gorosai, but I want to make an even more detailed video about that, so subscribe to this channel and don't miss the upcoming videos. A thought I want to talk about is Im Sama's devil fruit must definitely be equal to the ability of Ruffy, if not even superior. And there's one thing we have to take in consideration the ability to do anything you want. We have seen what an impact Ruffy can have on the environment with his devil fruit. He can, just by imagining it, turn the ground into rubber and change Kaido's nature as well. Even other characters like Kid and Law suddenly got cartoonish eyes around him. Why wouldn't Imsama be able to do that either? Maybe it is Imsama who has brought the Gorosai into this form. The fact that they all put out a weapon to fight first shows that they are not actually devil fruit fighters. Only when Imsama transforms, the Gorosei also transformed. For me, this is an indication that possibly Imsama is the one who can control his environment. Question would be then naturally, why only did the Gorosei change and not the whole surrounding field? So, either Imsama can control what she has an influence on, or the Gorosai have their own powers. But more about this in another video, so subscribe the channel to don't miss that and let's be friends. Whatever this power should be, it is incredible how powerful it must be just because of the fact that it is the devil. How did Zabo even manage to escape there? I am really curious how Oda is going to justify that. He was lying on the floor covered in blood with Cobra and then the transition to Wapol came. So what happened after that Zabo could escape the devils from the throne room? I am curious about your opinion as well. Write down in the comments which of the options you found most logical and let's discuss the chapter together. Also feel free to leave a like and subscribe to support me and then I will see you in the coming days when we talk about the Gorosai and more specific about their powers and what they are capable of.